Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about my Gucci Dionysus bag in the size small. It's a really nice closure. It's in like an antique silver hardware. I'll bring it closer to you. Okay, and this silver tone chain. At its shortest is 38 centimeters. At its longest, it is 55 centimeters. You can wear it like this over the shoulder. This um, canvas is like a beige ebony color. Um, and this suede here, it's um, like a taupey color. So that's all like a neutral color. I wear this bag <laughs> for any occasion, okay? And um, the bag actually comes in different sizes. There's a, a, a mini size, which is really good crossbody. There's the small, there's a medium. Um, the medium side has a back pocket and the back pocket is suede. Um, I really liked that size, but when I actually tried it on, I just thought it was too big. Like it suit me but I ended up gravitating towards the small anyway. So, and some people have complained about the back pocket because of the suede, wearing jeans, you know, it gets dirty and it's just hard to clean. You know how it is. I have not cleaned this bag since I got it. So I probably should, but I haven't. Um, and because of the color of the bag, you know, it hides dirt very well. <laughs> I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, so yes. The chain is very light. I like it, but the bag itself is actually, it feels a bit heavy. Like um, I think the website said 0.6 kilograms. So if you stuff it with like heavy objects, then of course it's gonna get heavier and it might hurt your shoulder just because of the pattern of the chain. Um, you know, it could hurt your shoulder. If you have different types of bags, you know about it. You know how it gets for us girls. Anyway, holding the chain are these two metal and it has this accordion style, um, style of the bag where it can kind of stretch out depending on how much you put in there. I like the whole story behind this closure here, this um, tiger head closure but I am not a person who tends to like animals on their bags. Even the Bugatti snake, you know, that whole vibe is not my style. Although when you look at their jewelry, it just looks really good, but I am not a serpent snake kind of person with my bags or my jewelry. So, um, but at the end of the day, I just thought this was simple enough for me to put up with and I have been loving the bag. I have not minded having it there. So yes, the bag has um, a pin closure with like the side release. So I'll just show you, I open it like this and that's that pin. That's the closure right there. Side closure, pin, and yes, that suede that I mentioned, I do keep my bag clean. Um, if you have small little bags or SLGs in your handbags, then your bags can stay cleaner longer and look more organized and all those good things. So this bag has two compartments and a middle zip. So I'll just show you that. The bag is empty at the moment, but we're gonna see what fits in it in a minute. The suede feels really nice. Um, it looks really good. It is a neutral color. The color doesn't show dirt as, you know, in an obvious way as other suede's could if it was a lighter color. But I mean, if you're not a careful person, I wouldn't say you should get something like this. For me, I like it because as you know, I have little SLGs that I put in here that help me protect my bag from bits and pieces pens and all that because actually I don't even know if you can get a pen mark out of this suede but um I really like it I like the style I don't I don't picture any other interior on this bag the suede goes really well with it and it feels really smooth and it just looks really classy 
the middle compartment, you know, you can keep all your important little documents. Um, the middle compartment is not in suede. It actually has um, the canvas in there. Yeah, so it's the canvas in here. Oh yeah, and I always keep some sort of authenticity card or whatever. As you can see, I've never used that flap. It's a pocket. So <laughs> all in all, it has like one, two, three, four, four pockets. Usually I don't have this bag organized in as well as I would with other bags um, because I already know it doesn't fit as much as my other bags, but we're gonna see how much fits in here. So I've got my phone. Let's put that in the side compartment. I have my Goyard pouch from my tote, Goyard tote. So I'll put that in there and that fits in good. I've got my hand cream, this one. Um, Airport Pro. So that's the bag so far. We still have all this space in here. Compact mirror. Mm. Sunscreen. Let's say a book. Mm, hand sanitizer. Just close the zip. It has this leather tab here. And There we are. It's always really hard for me to open the bag because you know, I have long nails and um, getting your fingers under this tab is difficult. I was not able to fit my sunglasses. I have to go um, and get a different pair of sunglasses to put in here, um, but you, you get the gist, you, you get the, the vibe, you, you get the whole thing. So let's take stuff out and then we can discuss the pros and cons of the bag. So my compact mirror, hand sanitizer, sunscreen. Sometimes I'm good, I carry my sunscreen. <laughs> and um, AirPod Pro hand cream and my Goyard pouch. Okay, this one, this time has gum, Chanel lipstick, this is Boy. So this is the Lip Whip from um, Beauty Bakery. You know I always carry a red lip with me, so yes. And we have Santal Royale um, Travel Spray, but I do have the bottle, I have it here. I wasn't going to try and stuff this in my bag. Sometimes if I carry a certain fragrance and it's too big for my purse, I'll just take it with me and leave it in the car so I can respray whenever I want to um, and not have to carry it around everywhere. But you know, some of my perfumes have really good longevity so I don't have to touch up and respray throughout the day. So, and this is one of them, um, Santal Royale by Guerlain. I don't know why this is in here, but this is the Hourglass um, Brow Sculpting Pencil that I use at times. Um, this is in the brown, the deep brown. So that's it there. I don't really do much to my eyebrows. <laughs> and yeah. I don't do much to them. Sometimes I don't even put brow pencils, so. I never get them, you know, trimmed or anything. So I don't have to worry about that side of things. So that's the Goyard pouch and my phone. I'm going to put the chain in the bag because it's noisy and I don't need to use it right now. 
As you know, the bag would have come in its box with all the details and I store it in a dust bag just to preserve it when I'm not using it. And I encourage people to do that as well with their bags, to keep them in the dust bag because the dust bag is actually a little bit dirty. Imagine if all this dirt went on my bag, you know, um, it's just unnecessary. So I try to look after my bags. Pros and cons, the neutral color, the bag does come with other colors. It can come in an all leather style, red, green, whatever color you can imagine. Um, or if you get this style bag with the canvas, it comes um, with different color suede. So black here, red, red here, which is good. Um, it can, it's more durable because, you know, it doesn't show scratches or anything like that as compared to if you buy the old leather style. This can be casual. It's mostly casual to me and my style. Um, but of course you can dress it up if you like, just because of the, the structure, the style and the size. That's why I went with the small size. I just think it's a like a classy, you know, ladylike look. Um, so that was my reasoning. I like the silver. Most of my accessories and bags have gold tone hardware. I'm a gold kind of girl. But every time I want to be a little bit more understated and casual, as I mentioned, I will take this bag out because it has this silver hardware. And yes, I wear this bag with like denim, you know, white t-shirt kind of vibe, sneakers, white sneakers, you know, that long blazer vibe with the white t-shirt underneath, jeans, white sneakers style. So that's my go-to with this bag. I I like it a lot. Um, it's a carefree. Um, I don't need to pack a whole lot that day. Then I'll pick this bag. Um, I think it's timeless. I think that it's not as trendy as it may have seemed. I think um, the style is quite plain. <laughs> that way you can get away with wearing it for many years to come. So that is what I like about it. Cons, okay? Don't wanna say it, but I'm gonna say it. This here, this closure is so hard to open. Like you have to put your finger under this flap and squeeze the sides, one side to be specific. As you can see, I struggle sometimes. It's not for when you're in a rush, okay? Clearly, oh, there we go. I think it was also playing up because he knew I was recording. Anyway, so that's a bit difficult. Oh my goodness, who does this? I still have that plastic <laughs> over, over the hardware. Like sometimes I leave it there on purpose because I don't want to have scratches and that too soon. I am that type of girl that will keep things in their boxes, keep them like packaged the way they were, just so they can stay looking newer for longer. Maybe I should, actually I'm gonna leave it there. It's not looking too bad just yet, but you know when the sides start peeling and the plastic starts looking ugly? But anyway, does anyone else do that? Like, let me know in the comment section. I also know some people who, when they buy something, they wanna put it on right away, like, Sometimes they can't even leave the store without wearing that thing. I'm the type that like to preserve stuff. When I buy something, I want to keep it looking new for as long as possible. But like I mentioned, some people, oh my gosh, if they buy something, let's say sneakers, they want to leave the store wearing the sneakers right there and then, okay? Some people will buy a t-shirt, take off the tag, <laughs> in the changing room take off the old shirt they came in wearing put on the new one take off the tag go pay with the tag and walk out with a brand new shirt and then maybe if they didn't leave their old one in there shoes or whatever they'll put them in the new packaging so they'll be walking around wearing what they just bought and their old clothing in the shopping bag listen 
<clears throat> I know some really funny people, okay? <laughs> but I don't think that's a bad thing if you want to do it. I'm just saying I'm the kind of person that holds, like, what is the word? Hoards, hoards things. Like, I need things to stay new for long. I need it to look like the day I bought it for as long as possible. Um, or I buy something, put it in my room, and just look at it for like six months. It's just sitting there, I'm not using it. Not that I'm like nervous to use it, but I just like to look at it. I just like to know that I have it. Does that make any sense? Like even though I don't use it, but just knowing that I bought it and I have it, I don't know if, if that's normal. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if you know anybody who does that or what kind of person you are. I'd like to know. Anyway. More cons about this bag, the chain, obviously, uh, it can become painful on your shoulder. Um, that happens also because the bag is a little bit heavy, 0.6 kilograms. And then that's before you stuff it with things. I think it's this silverware that's here that makes it a little bit heavy. Did I mention that these are hand painted edges? I don't think I mentioned that, but they are. Isn't that nice? Um, you are paying for that craftsmanship. That labor is in the cost of the bag, $3,120 at present on the Gucci website. That's in Australian dollars. Just because it's $3,120 on the Gucci website does not mean that you have to go and buy the bag on the Gucci website. There are many, many stores, online stores, that you can get the bag from, okay? You can even get it pre-loved. Some people sell their bags, so go ahead and do that. But I have not done that with this bag. I think that luxury bags are for those that love and appreciate them. Um, if there's another area in life that you like to splurge on, some people are into lip products, makeup, some people are into shoes more than bags, you know, you get the idea. Um, then go ahead and do that. But this video is about this. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think that's everything. Did I tell you the measurements? No, I didn't. Okay. The length is 28 centimeters. The height is 17 centimeters and the width is nine centimeters. So let me know if you like this bag like your thoughts on it if you have it is it something that you would be interested in getting um what do you think of the style gucci is really changing things up i think i want something like from their classic um canvas you know with the red and blue stripes you know that that style i want to get something from there gucci is one of those stores that go up and down sometimes they're just like not popular at all and then sometimes they're really trendy and popular, um, but their canvas has been around for a long, long time. So I do think it's timeless in that sense. So yes, um, whether the bag holds value or not, no, it does not. <laughs> it's not like a Chanel or an Hermes, you know how it is. But if you like the bag, look, what can you do? Just buy it because you love it. The feature is not guaranteed. <laughs> Anyways, I think that does it for this video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section about anything on your mind regarding this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.